my first video since the big organize and move upstairs, Taylor move upstairs. Mm. Big move down here as well. Yeah, welcome. Not that you can see, but welcome to my new studio. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I'll explain what I'm doing because at the moment I'm just making a huge mess. I've actually just done this, which is a bit of a mess. But we'll see what that turns out like later. Um, but right now I am going to use this piece of corrugated cardboard and I am going to try something that I saw G. Kerr attempt and that is to decoupage a napkin onto corrugated cardboard. So there's the cardboard that I'm going to use. Here is the piece of napkin that I'm going to use. How stinking cute is this guys? Look at it beautiful it's all it looks vintagey it's valentine's theme lots of love well not so much valentine's theme but lots of love blah de blah flowers and stuff so yes i figured let's have a do at this and then if it turns out okay we will put it in the valentine's journal i'm going to try and get it so that that stampy bit is there in the corner which is going to cut that lots of love part off unfortunately but I can live with that. However, I'm not sure if I want to have a do at gessoing first. Just, I think I will. I think I will. I think I'm just gonna. I should have soaked my brush and I forgot because I gessoed the other one first. An old towel, paintbrush that's fallen apart. <laughs> My brushes are nothing special, guys. Literally, they're all apart from that one and the paint pens. They are all. They all came in a pack from B and M bargains. They're all just kids' paintbrushes. Just cheap paintbrushes. I think it cost one ninety nine for a pack of. 20 or 30 or whatever but yeah nothing special at all right so I'm gonna just use some white gesso this is Dina Wakely gesso it's just gesso but it's Dina Wakely I like this gesso because apart from it being in a small bottle so it's nice and easy to handle it has a really useful little tip on it so you don't get big blobs everywhere um, ah yeah, I am going to use that. But I do have this one. You've seen me using this one before for bigger projects. That too has a bit of a nice little... That It does come out in a big blob with that one. But yeah, I just have that one. Um, but today, like I said, I'm going to use this. I'm not going to use a lot. Just... cover some of the background that's all just to give it a bit of a neutral background for the napkin to sit on top of instead of brown <laughs> basically so yeah so how are you doing guys is everybody okay i hope you've had fun following along with my adventure <laughs> over the last week Oh, has it been an adventure? Wow. If I'd have known, I'm, I knew it was going to be a big job, but oh my gosh, guys, if I'd have known how big of a job it was going to turn out to be, I'd never have done it. <laughs> I mean, it started out just as a organise, let's get organised kind of thing. Bit of a challenge, really, that Jessica Rapp threw down. Um, she did tag a few of her crafter friends in it like Tracy Fox and um, Chantel Leppage and a couple of others um, and I know they are taking up the challenge 
just I'm gonna add a bit of water that's it I'll just add a bit of water to make it go a bit further um yeah I know they've taken up the challenge too uh, and I know Jess is doing it herself as well she um commented on my final video that I did the other day no it's not the final you've still got the big room tour coming up yet but there's still one or two little bits that I want to do first like I've got a new storage unit coming today for the paper that sort of thing um but yeah the room tour has got to be perfect <laughs> um I know she didn't tag Gail in the video but I know Gail's been doing a huge room extension extend extension as well which has nothing to do with jesse's challenge but everybody seems to be having the whole let's overhaul and clear out like spring clean if you will now <laughs> although i think we're all ready for spring so bring it on um but yeah so like i said it just started out as a bit of a gosh my side of my side of the room which is this side is a mess and i can't create i can't craft i can't do anything let's get it organized and then i can and then that turned into a whole fubby uh well third man saying right let's get taylor upstairs let's do it so it progressed from there and oh my gosh it went so fast but yet so slow but it's done it's done i'm here guys this is my room all my room and i freaking love it taylor's loving being upstairs as well it's awesome right i'm just going to give this a little blast with the um not air fryer <laughs> i'm not making chips um here you go <laughs> nice and dry enough. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that looks a bit nicer on there. Now I'm not going to do it that way I think. Yeah, I need to do it lengthways. It's going to be a journal card. So what we need to do now is Mod Podge or decoupage glue whatever this is my own concoction it is basically just pva glue and water and i've watered it down a bit since opening it because it was really thick and gloopy because i haven't used it for ages so i'm just going to give this a light coating um yeah so like i say guys it has been an adventure a drama and a journey definitely it's all been well worth it though. Didn't think it while they were in the middle of the chaos and wanted to sit in the corner and rock and cry. <laughs> but oh wow, yeah. Right, while that is saturated, I'm going to lay this over the top. And then... She said this works better with a round flat brush, which I haven't got, so I don't think this is going to work. Let's see if I've got a stiff brush. These brushes are quite stiff, so... <laughs> the idea is to try and whoop, not rip the napkin, but kind of get it in a groove. Let's just wet it a little bit and soften the edges just a little bit. Yeah, that's working. Cool. See, so can you see you get in the texture of the cardboard underneath, but still the main focus is still the napkin. 
Um, but yeah, so like I say, it has been fun and games. But yeah, it's been so worth it though. It's been amazing. It's been tiring. Oh my gosh, has it been tiring? I know I shouldn't complain, but I've never felt tired like this before in my life. This is a whole new kind of tired to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, physically, mentally draining and exhausted. But like I say, worth it. And then, to top it all off, I've been kind of really overwhelmed by it all, so much so, I kind of didn't want to come in here afterwards to do anything. It weren't even a case of, oh, I don't want to go in because I don't want to get it all mucky and messed up and unorganised. It was just, I took one step into the doorway, stopped, found myself standing there just staring around the room in amazement, like, wow, is this all really mine? <laughs> and then walking back out again because it's like, I can't do it, I can't do anything, I don't know what to do. Kind of didn't know where to look first, didn't know what to do first. So, yeah, I figured, do you know what? Take a step back, just come out, take a step back, sit down, breathe, <laughs> and have a couple of days off and go back to it when you feel it. So I spent, got it finished on Friday, um, and then I spent Saturday and yesterday, Sunday, just kind of coming in and just having a little potter around moving one or two things looking and thinking all oh, right well that's really not practical there because i'm over here and that's over there and i could really do with that there so then a quick swap around nothing major no big move no big ornament but furniture moves or anything like that just little things like moving one box to make it more practical that sort of thing or stuff that was in one box take it out put it in a box over there and put that stuff in this box over here and that sort of thing just standing and looking at it thinking is that really practical I put it there to fill the space but is it really practical no it's not well let's make it practical um but as for actually sitting down crafting i've done nothing i've done absolutely nothing since starting this last not last week the week before so yeah but I'm glad that I took them couple of days off because I feel a lot better today. I really do. I mean, look at me. I'm in here crafting. And before I started this, oh, get off my finger. Before I started this, I've, um, some of you guys might have seen already because, well, by the time you see this video, you will have seen already. Um, but some of you guys will see already that I'm back busy kind of crafting to a degree because I popped pictures on Instagram this morning showing that the whole of this surface area, the chair behind me and even the top of the radiator um, was absolutely covered in um, die uh, embossed envelopes. <laughs> I had a big envelope embossing session this morning. That were really good fun. What have I done there? Where put them now? Oh my gosh, I've put them somewhere safe. That's safe, I'm never going to find them again. Where have I put them? They're not in that drawer. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't find them. Well, literally, I can't find them. That's not good. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh dear. Did I put them? Oh wow. See, this is the problem I'm going to have now. I make stuff, I put it away, and then I'll never find it again. I don't know where it is, guys. I swore it were here. Like, just over there. Well, obviously not. It's not there. It's not in the project basket. <laughs> Oopsie. 
What on earth have I done with them? Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god, see what I mean? See what I mean? I'm a disaster a disaster zone already. Have I put them back in the bloody die cuts? The, not die cuts, the... Uh, well, yeah, die cuts box. No. Where I keep all my die cuts and cuts in folding. But no. Um, and they're not in there where I keep all the shims. Oh my gosh, guys, I have literally no idea what I did with them. Oh, that's not good. Anyway, we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Right, I'm just going to give this a blast with the um, heat gun. But yes, there you go. So, can you see? Oh, I'm really not sure about this new camera setup. But yes, yeah, so... You've got the, de the napkin decoupage on there, which is great. But you've still got the texture of the corrugated cardboard too so I'll give that a blast with a heat gun and I'll be back in a sec stop bringing it up there and I'm gonna start zooming in because this lighting is driving me insane but yeah I love how that turned out look at that lovely texture on there gorgeous I love that little stamp there as well yeah nice love it right so now even though I've just dried it all I'm gonna go over it all again with the Mod Podge just to seal it and we'll use the big brush more coverage oh. yeah so I, um, the other day, I took it upon myself to message Daisy at Tsunami Rolls and Sherry at Antique Papery and let them both know that I am opting out of March's um, design team projects. Um, I'm not quitting either of them, I'm staying. <laughs> Um, but definitely after everything that's just gone on, I definitely feel like I need a break from kind of, not rules as such, but, or time constraints either really, because there isn't any with Sherry and Daisy's already said in her reply that the dates, um, you know, because we all, with Daisy, we all kind of pick a date and then work towards that date and like she said, they're flexible don't worry they're just a guideline more than anything just as long as we keep her informed of what's going on and let her know when we are finished um don't fret it obviously she understands life is hectic things don't always go to plan <laughs> if we hadn't have gone ahead with the whole room move and i'd have just done the organize i'd have been no problem i'd have had them both finished by now but today is the 24th i don't know if you can see that i don't know um but yeah today is the 24th of february 
my deadline for my Tsunami Rose design team is the 27th, or was the 27th, um, and I'm just not going to get it done. No word, no chance am I going to get it done. Even if I hadn't have taken yesterday and Saturday off, I still wouldn't have got it done in time. Or I might have got it done in time, but I'd have ended up rushing it and then it just wouldn't have been right. And I don't want to do that, because then that takes all the fun out of everything. So, But yeah, I will be finishing them, um, because I'm having so much fun. Never thought I'd ever admit that I have fun inking. But I'm having so much fun with the Valentine's Journal, doing all the inking and everything. And the black and white one as well for Daisy at Tsunami Rose is actually spoken for anyway by Laurie. Hi Laurie. Um but yeah so on like she's she's fine. She's like, yep, don't rush it at all, do it in your own time, blah de blah. But yeah that journal's spoken for so I need to finish it and I will. But now I feel a lot more relaxed in the fact that I know that in my own time, not for them, more for the design team leaders sort of thing, that there's no pressure just do it whenever so yeah but i'm like i said i'm opting out of next month so i'm just going to take next month off and have a break get back to doing things like this just general crafty stuff and playing get my mojo back and then we'll see where we go from there in april so just blitz over this again and then i'll come back Okay, <laughs> actually opted not to blitz it with the um, hair dryer. Hair, dry, hair dryer. It's not a hair dryer. <laughs> Heat gun. Oh my gosh. Words failing me. Um, well, theoretically, I suppose it's an hair. Er, er, not hair. Hair, er, as in the air that we breathe. <laughs> um, although air and hair are the same thing up here in North. Er, it's all er. <laughs> um but yeah, so I'll just tidy up now, but I'll just waffle on at you guys while I do. But yeah, so that's roughly where we're up to, guys. So I am still around. I will still be making videos, hopefully. Um, everything will be back to normal now, routine-wise. Taylor's back at school, went back to school today after his half-term break. So I'm glad he got a break, because I didn't. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there we go. I've completely lost track of what I'm going to say now. I'll turn the camera back on because I'm going to talk to you about something, and now I can't remember what it was. Um, but anywho, like I say, hopefully back to normal routine. There will be definitely there will be a full in-depth room tour coming up. But like I said, there are one or two little things I want to get done. One or two other little things that I want to get done in behind the scenes before I do that. So I shall get them done first. Like I said, starting with today when the new paper storage unit arrives. Because that corner over there under the window, the paper corner, paper storage corner, as you will have seen in other videos basically the corner where the window is where all the papers stacked up it's not making me happy at all whatsoever not one little bit in fact I come in and I take a look at it and I'm thinking oh god more organizing it's just a complete mess it looks like what it is I walk in right now and I look at it and I think the room's not finished yet because that corner just looks like what it is a corner where I've just dumped a load of paper it's not bringing me any joy it does not make me happy when I look at it and yeah I look at it and just want to cry actually thinking oh, do I really have to sort that out oh I forgot about this this still needs to dry yet um but yes yeah, so like I said I ordered a storage unit it's not specific for paper, but it is like an office type storage unit. You guys um, will... I'm not sure what you guys call them, actually. Um, not a RAS cart. RAS cog cart. 
it's not one of them um, basically plastic drawers that you can put paper in <laughs> is about the only way to describe it really but you'll see it in videos anyway in fact i might even do a time lapse video of when it comes putting it together that'll be interesting and then we're going to do a paper organizing video um or two or 20. but yeah so because there's just too much of it guys there's too much for a start off there's this look at it and it's not even all paper that is fun form <sighs> glittery fun form which i've no idea where on earth it came from um that is sticky summit it's um it's cardstock it's like metallic actually it's cardstock but itself it's adhesive um some more fun form yeah some more fun form silver foil gold foil there's all sorts in here guys and a lot of this can actually get jumped um yeah sparkle paper there's two folders in here do you guys even remember me making these or should i say making this i think it was this one that i made Were it this one that i made on camera no that's the one i'd already made this was the one that i made on camera when i showed in the tutorial on how to make a um scrapbook with a binder paper binder paper's upside down um and i did say it in there in that video okay it's not upside down the book's upside down i must have done just a plain sheet of paper on the front although that's upside down as well they're all up what's going on here they're all upside down not that it matters actually because i remember saying we're going to work in this next year which is this year we'll work in this a page at a time you know make it like a, a scrapbook basically art journal scrapbook type thing blue book whatever and i don't know guys we probably will get round to it but when i do not know yeah how many pages are in it it's discounting that so two four Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I'm counting both sides, so that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So there's 36 pages, in, not including front and back. In there's 40 including things if we decorate that and then count that as page one and then that as the last one so there's 40 pages in that so that is if we do one page a week that's 40 weeks or ignore the front and back page, that's 36 weeks. Hmm. I don't know, guys. There's even more in this one. This was the original one that I made. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I not count that. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 24, 26, 28, 
80, not including front and back. There's 80 in there. So, that's a lot. So, what? 52. Not quite two year in there if we do one a wink. However, there's 80 pages in there, so if we do, if we double it, no. Half it, should I say? So count that as one. That's twenty at uh, forty. Forty weeks. Hmm, doable. If we do one a week, just work on one, both sides. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh! Look at that. I get asked this question a lot. How many times do you actually manage to finish a brew during the course of filming? And the answer is never. Very, very rarely. Um, I think in the whole three, four, whatever years, three years I think it is now that YouTube channel's been going, I think I've only ever finished three brews. But yeah, wow. Amazing. I actually finished one. In the same session. Um, yeah, so anyway, like I said, guys, I'm not sure about them, but yeah that's just that that i've got to sort it through completely went off track there didn't i but yeah so that's just that one that i need to sort it through and then there's this this is going to be a nightmare oh my gosh and it weighs an absolute ton look at this seriously look at it all there's, oh, God knows what in here. However, there are some really fun, funky pieces of paper in here that I'm going to scan. Because I've no idea where they came from. I've absolutely no idea where they came from or how long I've had them. I've had them a long time. But they've got some real cool designs on them. So I'm going to scan them and then use them. Why not? Scan them and print them out and use them. Like it's not specific scrapbooking papers or designs or anything like that. So why not? And then I've got stuff like this. Look. This is vellum. How pretty is that though? I mean alright it's green. But that's vellum and it sparkles. Look at that, how beautiful is that? I might even scan that. There's all sorts of little treasures like that in here. So I have no idea how I'm going to sort through these, but we will. And then these. Oh my gosh, I'm like so in love with these. These are also going to get scanned. Look at this. Look at that. Actually, I'm thinking that possibly for putting in the black and white journal. <laughs> these aren't sticky, these are just papers. And then there's this red one. This is textured as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like embossed paper. And there's this. Look at this one, guys. How beautiful is that? This red one with the birds on. I love this one. Absolutely love this design. This one with flowers. Beautiful. <laughs> nice bright one. Same pattern, a bit dulled down. Again with the birds, but in a creamy colour, again with the birds in a lilac colour, lavender, 
grey. Back to the floral. Again with the floral. I have so much of this paper all mixed up random in this tub. That's not textured, but oh, look at that. You can't even see that because of the lighting in this room. Oh, there you go. It's just awesome. But yeah, so we've got to sort through all of this. So it's going to be fun. And while I'm doing that, I figured I might as well do some videos at the same time. <laughs> and, like I was saying, that's not half of it. Look. <laughs> There's all sorts of this fun textured paper. I love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, I've gone completely off track now, so I'm going to go, otherwise this video is going to be three hours long. Um, one second, let's just check. Oh. Yeah, it's not quite dry. Not quite dry, but not far off. And it's drying a lot nicer over on the radiator than it does with the heat gun, so that's nice. Um, once this is dry... I will sew around the edges and then I will ink, yes I will ink, um, and then that will be it really. Might do a bit of stamping on the back, like try and find some lines and stamp on the back. Or what I had thought of doing were, I have somewhere a printable that is a postcard design. So I think I might print that out and maybe glue that on the back if it's big enough. But yes. But there we go guys, there's my take on g curves, decoupaged, napkin, corrugated cardboard thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go guys. So thank you very much guys for watching. Thank you G for the fabulous tutorial on how to make this. Um, but yeah, and... I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Goodbye.